Hey my sweet pen friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Devin. Today's video is meant to be fun and lighthearted because I'm gonna share a few pen peeves that I have. In particular, we're gonna focus on fountain pens. These are just certain nuances about the hobby that displeased me. No one said that this hobby is perfect. I'm certainly not perfect, so these are just things that I'm learning to deal with. <laughs> the first pen peeve that I have when it comes to fountain pens are inky fingers. I know that it's a bit of a rite of passage for a lot of fountain pen enthusiasts to get a little bit of ink on their hands when they're cleaning out their pens or switching up the inks in their pens. But for me, it's always been a nuisance. I'm not sure why. I It's just not something that I enjoy about the process. And if you've watched some of my previous fountain pen videos, I've talked about it before. The cleaning process is one of my least favorite things about the hobby, and even more so than that, just getting ink stains. And to remedy that, I use rubber gloves when I'm cleaning out my fountain pens to prevent any ink from getting on my hands. It's just a very personal thing and I'm not sure that I have much to say in defense for myself, but I can't be the only one. You guys gotta let me know if you also are on the no inky fingers train. I can't be the only one. And because my nails are so long, sometimes when I'm just writing with my fountain pens, I'll get a little bit of ink on my nails and my the tips of my fingers, which, you know, that's such a little thing and it's me. That's like my fault, right? What drives me even more crazy beyond that is when I have inky fingers, I go to wash the ink off of my hands and if it's, like an ink with special properties, it doesn't remove that easily. And I don't know, it's just a little thing, but that's that's how I feel. Hey everyone, this is future past Devin, like future from when this was recorded, but also this will be in the past. Very confused, very uh, overwhelmed, but basically the next pen peeve that I filmed is unusable so I thought I'd hop on here and fill in the gaps. My next pen peeve has to do with the fact that fountain pens are not commonly used in America and personally I never grew up with the experience of using fountain pens in school and I think that is just such a huge missed opportunity for a number of reasons. I've talked about this before on my channel, but I grew up with not ever being corrected on how to use like my pen or grip my pen correctly. And I think had I used fountain pens growing up in school, it's something like, this is not a Lamy, it's a knockoff, but having that forced triangular grip would have helped me understand how to hold my pen as well as having the nib facing up. With a regular pen, you don't really have to think or be conscious and aware of those things, but with a fountain pen, there's a little bit more nuance to writing with it correctly. So for those reasons, I, I I'm extremely peeved actually that it's not widely used in schools, at least where I grew up. I know that in other countries it's a little bit more common and I think that's wonderful because fountain pens have been a game changer for me in this point in my life so I just imagine what it would have been like had I had fountain pens when I was in school. I think I would have enjoyed my academic experience a little bit more. Not to say that I didn't enjoy it for what it was, but this having fountain pens definitely would have enhanced that. Those, that's just my two cents on not having fountain pens as widely recognized or used where I grew up. This next pen peeve is one that I have with myself, and that is I have more pens than I have so storage. And I would say 
that's a fair assessment for both my regular pens as well as my fountain pens, but in particular, these Galen Leather 10 pen cases. I've shared these on my channel before. I absolutely adore them. There is no better fountain pen storage solution in my mind for my preferences. Each of these pen cases holds 10 fountain pens and they are both full. And I wouldn't have any qualms with that if I didn't have other fountain pens that are not in these pen cases. It's totally silly, completely benign. It's a, it's a peeve that I have with myself right now is that I have more fountain pens than I have storage. Now, an easy solution that I know that you guys are probably thinking is, Devin, why don't you just get another <laughs> 10 pen case or upgrade, you know, to some other storage solution. When I first started collecting fountain pens, I thought that 10 would be enough. And now I am at 20 plus fountain pens, maybe even 30 plus. I'm not even sure how many fountain pens I have that are not in these cases, but are in their cases that they came with. So I don't know. When you fall into the fountain pen hobby, you just keep falling and, and sometimes you just can't stop collecting. As silly as I sound to myself, I just had to share because only you would understand. I know that they recently came out with one that holds 20 pens, but I really do like the compactness and style of the 10 pen cases. So maybe I just need to add another one. I don't know. We will see. Thank you for allowing me to share those pen peeves with you and letting me get them off my chest. In the grand scheme of things, they are so small in comparison to the joy that I get when I use fountain pens. But as I said in the beginning of the video, it's all meant to be fun and lighthearted. So I would love to hear from you. What is your biggest fountain pen peeve? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with a pen friend who you think might also enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe and to turn on those notifications. That way you don't miss any of my videos. I do my best to upload here every Wednesday at 8 a.m. PST. So please take care until then. Feel free to enjoy these two videos linked here on the screen. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.